Hi guys, I was very honoured when Christian Magazine Premier, which is the second top Christian magazine in the UK, contacted me to ask for me to submit my article to them. This is the second article I've submitted to them and it's on Wicca. And I would just like to read it out to you today. Well, it was too windy outside so we decided to come indoors. Uh, the magazine Premier magazine, uh, it's the UK's top Christian magazine and they also uh, feature a lot of their articles online at premierchristianity.com So I'm just going to go ahead and read out the article for you now. Um, it was actually printed on April the 30th so it was a little while ago and I'm a bit late in getting this video up up and on there but here we are now. So um, they advertised it by saying Laura Maxwell blogs on the truth about Wicca. There's been an explosion of interest in witchcraft but here's what the media aren't telling you. So that was how they titled it. And you know even before I read it out I just want to say that as you know if you're familiar with my work I am not writing or speaking out of being judgmental. Um, I am an ex-New Age spiritualist myself and in actual fact Wicca would have been a faith that would have really attracted me. In fact, I'm pretty sure I would have got into Wicca myself had I not uh, became a Christian. So anyway, former spiritualist, now Christian, Laura Maxwell responds to recent media stories about occult practices. Wicca is the fastest growing religion in the world today. That's according to Professor Ronald Hutton from the University of Bristol. He was speaking on the Channel 4 programme, A Very British Witchcraft, which aired March 2018. As Wicca has grown, so has the media interest surrounding it. For example, The Telegraph recently featured the stories of two young Wiccans. Like many, witchcraft ran in their families. We see this mirrored throughout the Bible with hereditary witchcraft and occultism. The article titled Meet the Modern Hipster Witches even described how to create your own potion during a full moon. There have been other stories about witches around the world um, attempting to cast binding spells on President Donald Trump attempting to stop him taking political action they regarded as negative. Media interest has fuelled Wicca's explosive growth in our culture, popularised by books and movies such as Harry Potter, The Craft and others. There are now innumerable websites selling not only spell books, candles and crystals, but statues of ancient gods, goddesses, Hindu and Buddhist gods, as well as altar tables and ritual tools. Wiccan novices no longer need to join a local coven. They can easily teach themselves online, becoming solitary practitioners. Sometimes the media describe Wiccans by using false and patronising stereotypes. Wiccans aren't restricted to groups of female teenaged goths. Indeed, people from all walks of life, including professionals, embrace the craft, also known as craft of the wise. It is recognised and accepted in all areas of society now. Like the New Age hippie socio-cultural and political revolution of the 1960s, paganism influences policy. During the Channel 4 documentary, a spokesperson from the Police Pagan Association claimed Wicca is represented in the Home Office. It has a great impact on our world and its influence looks set to increase. Although many people assume witchcraft doesn't work, it is actually very powerful, just as the Bible shows. As former occultists like myself can testify, people would not invest time, energy and money into something that failed to produce results. Growing interest. 
According to the most recent government census in the UK, 50,000 people call themselves pagans and 18,000 identify as Wiccans, Druids and Heathens. Many expect these figures to be higher and to double by the next census just two years from now. Wicca is often regarded as a neo-pagan, nature-based spirituality, teaching we are all divine and aiming to show love and respect for all. It's easy to see its attraction. However, Wicca is actually far more than this. Wiccans call on gods and goddesses, use divination, cast magic spells and create potions, believing that the, all of this um, can bring health and success. They have good intentions, good motives. Most of them also believe in, in reincarnation rather than heaven and hell. Many are flexible adopting many New Age beliefs and practices too. The origins of Wicca. And you know, as an aside, I, I often share that if you're into some kind of a practice or you're thinking about getting involved in something, check out its origins. Um, trace it back as far as you can and, and, and look at the founders of it and what were their spiritual beliefs, what kinds of things were they practicing because that will be the spirit behind the practice. The origins of Wicca. Phyllis Curot, a prominent pagan US leader, described Wicca as an amalgamation of Freemasonry, mythology, pantheism, transcendentalism, Feminism, Spiritualism, Buddhism and Shamanism. Wicca was created in the 1940s by occultist Gerald Gardner. Combining aspects from the above list I just shared with various aspects of the occult. He travelled Asia studying tribal religions. So, so Wicca isn't an ancient religion predating Christianity as many claim but a form of syncretism, an eclectic blend of old and new spiritualities. Even more concerning, Gardner incorporated many of the practices of Alistair Crowley, the world-famous occultist self-proclaimed as the Great Beast and wickedest man in the world. Crowley and his coven indulged in a secret and hedonistic lifestyle. He admitted in Confessions of Alistair Crowley that Satan was his master. Before his death, he chose Gardner to become the heir to his occult society. When the Witchcraft Act was abolished in 1951, Gardner quickly and successfully worked to promote Wicca worldwide via the media. The Christian Response the Bible provides very clear instructions for Christians when it comes to the occult. God says in Exodus 20 verse 3, You shall have no other gods before me. And in Deuteronomy 18.10 to 11, Let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist, or who consults familiar spirits. Looking at that passage there, you can see that Wicca ticks a few of those boxes. Not sacrificing their son and daughter in the fire, I must um, emphasise before people <laughs> start to, to email me. Um, all through the Bible, God warns such practices bring curses to us and our offspring, not blessings. Do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritists, for you will be defiled by them. Leviticus 19.31 In Acts 19.17, former occultists burned their witchcraft books when they came to Jesus. In Acts 16.16, Paul cast a demon of divination out of the young woman who earned money for her slave owners by fortune telling. Today, many former pagans or occultists, like myself, have testified to having had demons cast out of us 
after turning to Christ and receiving deliverance from all of the occult practices we once were involved in. Bible teaching is clear. At the same time, sharing one-liners about hell and worshipping demons will only turn Wiccans and other spiritual seekers away. You have to use wisdom. Instead, we must pray for them, show them love and respect. God wants everyone to come to repentance. 1 Peter 3, 9 Because Wiccans and other occultists are interested in powerful spiritual experiences, there is an open door for us to share the life-changing cha power of God with them, just as the Apostles did in the Book of Acts. But to our shame, many of our churches reject them, turning them further away from Christ. So let's be friendly, let's be a light. Matthew 5, 13 Responding with love and compassion will draw many to Christ. So that was my article and I used several books as references, I'd just like to quote them here. Obviously the TV programmes mentioned. And you know, remember, someone uh, read this on my blog and said how they felt it was quite amateurish. Um, and I kind of thought that was funny because I didn't write it in a sense, I'm using these different sources and one of the main sources I used was a professor um, at the university that I mentioned earlier um, and he obviously really studied Wicca um, he was neither for it nor against it I think he was probably for it so why would it be amateurish when you're using those sources so you know the books I used from the craft to Christ by S.A. Tower and that includes testimonies of former Wiccans and witches and it's published by Dwell Publishing 2014. Generation Hex by Dylan Burroughs and Maria Aloposia. Harvest House Publishers 2008. Wicca's Charum by Catherine Edwards Sanders, Shaw Books 2005. And Spellbound The Paranormal Seduction of Today's Kids by Marcia Montenegro, published by David Cook 2013. So that's the sources and if anyone's interested in the actual article it's on premierchristianity.com's website and I, as I said it was printed during about April, the 1st of April 2018. If, if you're wanting to check it out, send it to anyone. It's on my blog there too and again I just want to emphasise um, I was a New Ager, I was a spiritualist, I was very much into pagan things, so I am not sharing this to attack Wiccans in any way, shape or form. Uh, I'm just sharing a little bit more about it, about its roots, um, about what it's based in, and also about my faith in Jesus Christ and how he is the way, the truth, and he can set you free from spirits if you get attacked by spirits as many people do when they are dabbling in these things. So thank you so much for watching. My blog is ourspiritualquest.com. Thank you again for watching and God bless you. Hi guys, thank you for watching. If you would like to read some articles about Wicca, witchcraft and so on by former pagans, former Wiccans, former witches, you can check them out on my blog, ourspiritualquest.com and you can check out interviews that I did on my radio show, The Supernatural with Laura Maxwell, on Eternal Radio, on my YouTube channel where I have interviewed ex-witches, ex-wiccans, ex-pagans and so on. Thank you so much for watching today and God bless you.